Good afternoon. Thanks for coming and joining me in my shop. Uh -huh. We're going to be looking at a needle under the microscope again, along with the new one. Here it is. So I just got this today, and I'm really anxious to have a look at these and compare them. So first, I want to. So that's an exact match. I don't have any doubt about that. Okay, so I'm going to position them on the uh, stage here, this way. Okay, so I got things set up pretty good here. So let's take a look at the, uh, this is the old one. So I'm uh, doing, doing a little bit of research on how styluses are made and I actually found a Chinese factory website and had a series of photographs showing each of the steps. One of the steps to, to fashion that black part we're looking at right now that the uh, needle is inserted to, that, that part is really just a stamping of the plastic arm, this whole plastic arm that's sticking out right at the end. They stamp the shape, pow, which would mean, which which would explain why I thought there was a piece missing. Uh, it's a little hard to see in this view because of the angle I've got things on, but if you look at this in a certain way, it looks like a whole piece is missing. Well, it's not missing. It's been stamped, formed into the piece needed to hold the diamond, this black part. And when you look at this, it, it even looks worse, like when I'm looking at the left side of it on the screen there looks like something is bent in a way it shouldn't be. It just doesn't look right. You know, it could just be. could just be. could just be me. So now looking at the diamond, uh, when I look at the uh, diamond right where it meets the black holder, it, it almost looks to me like either a ring of material is missing and then you can see uh, remnants of something that's still adhering to the diamond right at the bottom of the comb. I just Every time I look at this needle, it looks worse and worse. But I really want to get a good look at it before looking at the new one, which I've got right here. I can just slide over to it now. And uh, I have to get it centered a bit. Here it is there. Focus it in. Okay, went right through it. There. We'll stop. We'll stop on the diamond. No, let's stop right on the end of the cantilever. Right there. Right in there. Look at how rough that is. It looks like a uh, round uh, metal tube that's been stamped down. Pow! The stamping wasn't exactly uniform on each side. Stamped flat, and then this diamond looks like it's just been pow shoved through. You can see how uh, what looks like the aluminum or whatever that material is uh, is collared up around the uh, diamond. Now that's what it looks like. Well, what it really is might be something different. Okay, now I'm just going to reposition these so we can look straight down on them and compare them that way. Okay, you can kind of see how I have them arranged on the microscope stage there. So now here's the old one. Okay, uh, again, right, right where the diamond goes into the. See, I mean, every time I look at this, it looks worse. It just, it just looks like that. Diamond could I could just reach in there with a pair of pliers and lift it out of there. Now, if we look at the uh, uh, the new one, okay. So 
again, you can clearly see that's metal. And it does look like a tube that's been flattened. Now the diamond is pointing straight up, so it's almost hard to recognize there, but we're focused right on the point where you see a couple of little lights. I suppose maybe that's my whole shop there <laughs> reflected in that image. Huh. On the uh, conical surface of the diamond. We'll go down. So on the right side of the diamond, it's not, you know, the diamond is just the tip, so. But on the right side there of the diamond thing, you can kind of almost tell that's the metal kind of folded up. That's what it looks like anyway, the aluminum kind of folded up there. You can see the extra width of it. You know what? I'm going to get a side view going too. Why not? Let's take a look at this thing always. Okay, you can see how I have them there. Hopefully they won't fall over. <laughs> They're a little bit precarious. Okay, what are we getting? Now, unfortunately, the microscope up, uh, this is called the objective lens, may bump into needle here. Okay, so this is the new one. Good. Huh. Isn't that interesting? It's interesting to me. So I'm looking at the needle uh, where it meets the holder and where I thought I saw a collar of metal. Now I'm looking at it, it looks like the collar of metal is separated at the bottom there. Like it's basically manufacturing debris, really. Like you could brush that away, poke it away. Well, I get the impression these things are punched out, pum, 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 out of some kind of machine. So that's a new one. <laughs> Yikes. Let's go look at the old one. Okay, I don't want to knock it over. There it is. Oh my gosh, it looks fantastic from this angle. <laughs> Good. Uh, so I'm looking again where the uh, conical needle meets that black material. Wow, it looks just fantastic from this angle. <laughs> How can that be? I'm just looking uh, across the gap that's really there, but you just can't see it from this angle. Um, okay, I'm going back to the new one for a minute. You know, I can just beam that light. Oh. That's a shadow. Yeah. You guys, anyway, I can't really communicate what I'm seeing, but I'm just seeing it, the light go around nice and smooth like a lightsaber, except for its extremes. And we'll try that on the, uh, on the other one here. I'm looking for 
imperfections, uh, flat areas on the surface of the needle. I don't see a thing. So, you know, I think the old needle is actually like a diamond part. I think it's just like new. It looks like it's pretty much like new. It's just the holder is shot. So, I'm uh, looking forward to putting this in a record player and uh, checking it out. Hey, thanks a lot for watching.